Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we are spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Okay, since... Since I only read for divine feminines, divine masculines, keyword divine, okay? I can sense that the energy is going to be really good, okay? We all on a different path of our divinity, okay? We are connecting to God in different ways because God is fo formless, okay, to us all. This is going to be a really good message. I can feel it, okay? This is going to be really good. I'm feeling a breakthrough here. I'm sensing a breakthrough. Look at that justice here. Something is coming in, beloved, okay? Um, this is an energy that is making its way within your life or it's in your life already, okay? It's the energy of justice. The energy of justice is a representation of um, right and wrong, okay? Um, good and bad. So within this instance, I had to say it in the beginning when I said um, divine feminine, divine masculine. You know, you have reached a certain level of your divinity where you are going to only call in good outcomes for yourself, good experiences for yourself, and good energy. It's like you are getting to the point of your divinity where you've put in the work, you've earned this rank of being within your reality where God is about to unleash such goodness, such goodwill, such good in your reality, in your life, in your world, based on your identity. It's going to be so overwhelming how good God is about to be. We know that God has whipped our ass for far too long. Like, we've had it. We've had it with these damn comics. We've had it with these damn bad experiences. We've had it with the trauma, the triggers. We've had it with this obsession. We've had it with the devil. We've had it with the enemy. And now God is about to close off all of that and put you in a different paradigm shift you to a different paradigm meaning you're going to have a different reality different reality things are not going to be the same it's all based on what you are going to be living such good you know in life it's so sad because people miss the good in their life because they're so focused on another person's life or what they don't have or what they lack if we reflect on the individual path that we walk as people and understand like what God has done in our individual lives, we will see his good, we will see his hand, we will see his work in our lives. It has nothing to do with another person. And what I'm seeing here is like you need to reflect, you need to meditate you need to think about how god has worked through you with you and within your life right 
and understand that God can't put us through things continuously. Like there has to be some form of a shift when you get to a certain point based on learning your lessons, right? Just this energy being right and wrong, good or bad, it, it all stems from learning your, your lessons, you know, learning the truth, understanding your lessons, understanding the truth. So I see that, you know, you're reaching a point where God is proud of everything that you've overcome and every every ounce of effort and work that you've placed within yourself and your life okay now you are ready for new now that's the energy i was feeling that breakthrough something is about to happen here. you are entering a new reality you are entering a new paradigm okay i feel the need to literally get up and go open my door like not just because it's hot but like i keep seeing a door opening like I keep seeing doors opening like i see so many doors those that were shut with chains those that were shut by people those that had entities and en enemies idols freaking deities standing and not wanting you to enter just different doors that you know were shut by trauma different doors that were shut by just everything that was opposing any door from opening in your favor i see all of that energy just moving to the side if it was um an enemy i see them having no choice but to move so that you may enter and i see that whatever the enemy is or whoever the enemy is they will have to watch you enter regardless of the opposition or them thinking that they can stop you excuse me yeah they have to swallow all their words all their intentions all their actions everything because regardless, you're going to win. Regardless, there is a breakthrough here. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful energy, beautiful way forward here. You've called this in for yourself. This You've manifested this. You've prayed for this. You've attracted this within your life. Okay, and God is blessing you. God is blessing you. yeah this is beautiful like no one can do anything trust me they've tried you know that but it's here your new life the new energy based on good everything goodness goodwill like milk and honey energy okay milk and honey lots and lots of milk and honey we have the magician like i said you you are it's like, mm, baby. yeah, Ace of Swords, man. This is something serious here. It's like something is ending for something new to begin. Okay? You are not going to keep living the same reality, the same lifestyle. Things are changing. Things are shifting. The paradigms, you know, the planetary bodies, the energy everything here and with this magician you brought this upon yourself you see like you guys it's that 222 energy justice rules the number 222 222 is a representation of alignment alignment so with that being said you have earned all of this see how anyone walking this damn planet we all have karma we all have comic debts that either we've paid or we are paying you know or we've yet to pay we are running away from it like you know everybody's on a different spectrum within their journey of life but what i'm seeing here is like comic debt has been paid generational curses have been broken you know there's a time for your breakthrough here you have it's like the fighting is almost over the, the the battles they just it's coming to an end here something is ending here and there's new that you're calling in the will of fortune here and there's nothing anyone can do about it including you you've called this in for yourself just like somebody else can have bad karma all of a sudden they things are falling apart in life 
they are unable to have anything of value without losing possession of it whether it's a person or a thing or a job you know whether it's money whether it's their own sanity you know like their own spirituality anything can happen for good or for bad wrong or right and i see here that there's all the right things happening all the good things happening for you because you've called this in you're going to have to be watched while you experience this energy of alignment in your life and you are going to watch the enemy experience their own karma like there's no way that as things are balancing themselves out the way they are the scales are balancing themselves out you know in the end whatever was an injustice will be justified whatever was wrong will be right whatever was made wrong right whatever was done of bad will be rectified corrected that's the justice energy and i feel like that's what you are undergoing right now people might start reaching out out of nowhere wanting to reconcile that's a form of 222 that's a form of alignment you know what i'm saying things might start happening where you just have more better days or you receive an opportunity that you never thought you'd receive or something you've been really wanting for yourself you know there's just a lot and same goes for those on the other spectrum of their own life with this karma energy people might lose their houses repossessions of cars somebody's mental health just starts to deplete physical health just like it's like non-existent losing of weight like you don't even look like yourself like there's a lot that's happening right now those that are going through bad karma they're obviously going to try and hide it and those that are going through good karma it's not that they're going to put it in anyone's face but it's going to show like you you're going it's going to show that's what i'm saying people are going to have no choice but to watch those that mean you well and those that don't mean you well they're going to see what god is doing what karma you've earned you've earned this you could have easily ended up like those people that are about to receive bad karma in their life but you made different decisions and choices. You chose to be a different person. Breakthrough. Okay, so Swords Energy is like completely living a different life than what you were living before in a better way. Completely experiencing different things than what you were experiencing in a better way. Completely experiencing different people than what you were experiencing in a better way. Completely feeling differently than what you were feeling in a better way. Completely thinking differently than what you were thinking in a better way. Just alignment, justice, two, 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 beautiful karma, beautiful energy for you, beloved. Congratulations. This is all good. This is all good. All good. All good. You are all good. You're going to be good. Everything is good. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, this is what's coming for you. You've earned this breakthrough. You've literally called it in. All right, the magician, the ace of swords, the three of wands. We have Libra, double Libra energy here. We have double Gemini energy here. We have Aquarius energy here. And we have Sagittarius energy. Okay. Mm. A lot of people are going to be shocked. You might even be mind blown yourself when you... That's the thing. No one knows what tomorrow brings. Even us prophets, we can see something, but we don't know when it's going to come. You know, God doesn't say, oh, this person, unless you are tapped in really deeply with God, then you can know certain specifics. But even with that, anything can happen. That person can change and choose some form of dark path or attach themselves to some form of darkness and they can lose what's destined or they can lose what's fated or they can lose that generational wealth that is meant to come in that generational abundance and it has nothing to do with money emotional health is a form of wealth and abundance mental health is a form of wealth and abundance there are many forms of abundance it has nothing to do with money money is one of the forms of abundance but it's not every form so that's what I'm saying here, that beloved, while you are winning or you are gaining, a lot of people are going to be taking losses here. People that deserve that because of what they've done. People that deserve that because of what they've chosen to do. Actions and, 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 and 
just things that were done here even things that were said okay but this is all good though the knights of cups like literally i'm seeing like people are gonna want to back to that energy where like people are gonna start reaching out all of a sudden so so and so wants to apologize and and like wants to reconnect or they you know they want you and them to um reconcile and make a truce amends and they want to be honest now and 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 speak truth about in their intentions of the past or what they really meant to say or just there's a lot that's going to be happening in terms of that beloved that's what i'm seeing here don't be surprised when you hear from so so and so even if it's five years ago you lost spoke to this person even if that person you didn't end off on good terms and they know damn well you don't want anything to do with them like when karma is due for people and for you it's going to come like people will be so they feel so lit so cold and it'll be too heavy for them to stay away people are going to want to apologize they're going to want your forgiveness they're going to want to reconcile reconnect have a man's a truce they're going to want to not saying you should accept any any of these people back into your life because once a chapter is closed it's closed and what i'm seeing here is you're never going to look back as you should as you shouldn't rather right don't do that but just understand the message from what will be happening get the point okay we have the king of wands i mean called to take it reversed interesting we have double sagittarius energy we have leo energy we have aries energy we have scorpio energy we have cancer energy we have pisces energy we have um triple gemini energy here okay we have the nine of swords even ex-lovers ex-friends ex-colleagues ex-family members yeah you can ex a family member all right you can put them to the to the side like they just they like it's the past expect that like phone calls long paragraphs of messages just explanations apologies right i see here that you are not meant to take any of these people with you were never meant to take any of these people with you that's why they stayed behind but it's them coming forward like this is to show you how far you've come and how far they're trailing back behind you is to show you that you've really become who you've become and it's it was never in vain the work you've done within yourself and the shadow work and just the healing the growth the evolution and elevation it was never in vain for you to you know choose yourself or be the bigger person it was never in vain for you to avoid the drama avoid the conflict avoid the entertaining of low vibrations and comics it was never in vain for you to do none of those things clearly don't miss it is what i just heard to audience you need to don't miss the message behind what will be happening it's like people are going to start bragging oh i once was connected to this person or somebody you even like you don't even remember them but they remember you like yeah me and this person were like so and so in this time of our life like conversations that people are having about you that you don't even think about these people no more or at all or never like it's just over for you it's over that's what it means to be in a different reality it's just you can't it, it'll never be You got people wondering and really shocked like people wondering who is in the position that they were once in in your reality who holds the title that they once held in your reality you know literally people might be losing sleep some of these people might be really paranoid 
about the fact that like they will never get an opportunity a chance to reconcile with you talk to you see you touch you none of that even enemies here like something is coming up here based on enemies like people that did you wrong people that wronged you in any way whether it was deception whether it was just like lies you know backstabbing um really just like dark um deeds towards you people wanting to destroy you people having desires to oppose you be against you time tick tock tick tock when in the end you still are who you are or get to where you need to be or god does what he does regardless like these these enemies here will always feel a type of way about you whoever wronged you whoever was the enemy in your life here however way they will always remember what they've done to you whether the two of pentacles to the five of swords always it will always linger it's not something that they will forget okay yeah eight of swords They'll never forget that. Seven of Wands. They will never forget that. We have Taurus energy. We have double Aquarius energy. We have quadruple Gemini energy. Four placements of Gemini energy here. We also have double Aries energy. So yes, beloved, it's like unavoidable truths that people are dealing with within themselves they can't these enemies right we've we've talked about the past people these enemies right that have wronged you they will have to swallow their pride at some point and actually admit defeat if they haven't already there is no going back there is no tit for tat mm. This is beautiful, though. Like, congratulations, beloved, for letting... I mean, cool not to touch that. Oh, I felt like a defensive energy when I was about to touch this. Like, man, God ain't playing with you. Like, God ain't playing about you. God is doing it. I can attest to that. God is doing it for us, collective. We've earned this, man. You've let so much... Oh, we've shared so much old skin, dead weight. Like we, we just we've been through a lot. So this, kick your feet up and just relax and enjoy the show. Okay, let's tap in further. I'm being cold. Ow. I'm being cold here. I'm feeling the energy right it's crazy i was watching one of my favorite um terror readers okay i don't reveal names i just send love right but she was saying um <laughs> she was so upset in this reading in this one message she was like she can't believe like how people can be so opposed towards another person and she can't believe how those same people that stand against a certain person don't think about the work that god is doing in that person's life they only think about that later when they see the work itself right so what i took from that is like some things in life it's never too late right like a hobby that somebody will, unless you like you got some health problems and you can't do what you want to do but like in general things in life it's never too late like if you want to start that channel if you want to write that book if you want to um go to that place if you want to experience this type of relationship if you want to be in a certain place in terms of achievement goals passion desires you know there's always room for and space for all that but 
there is then there's the other spectrum of it where think certain things of life it is already too late it is far too late that's the energy i'm channeling let's see what this is about as i was called to tap in further to the energy there's still justice two 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 alignment good karma in your life making its way to you every day enjoy it kick your feet up kick your feet up is what i keep getting so audiently we have the world being called to take the king of pentacles upright and then we have the moon i'm being called to take it reversed it's like i'm getting like specific energies of people like it could be three people it could be like six or more you know it could be one person two people take it how it resonates but whoever you channel whoever's energy comes to mind whoever you think of or whoever you feel led to revisit in your own within yourself like i see here that what i'm seeing is like there is in a person or people that are in the energy of wishing that they treated you better like it's it, this is the energy of people that once had access to you and could have treated you better and would if they did if they were good to you they would still be relevant in your life those people that's that far it's too late for those people that's that energy coming in where it's like there's nothing that they can do to fix anything and make things better or none of that like it's over they will never have access to you they will never hear from you they will never talk to you they will never be in your life it's just never ever ever never ever 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 type of energy and that's that far too late and it's like those people are being eaten up inside all right it's all internal based where they know what they feel they know what they did they know what they think they know and it's like even if it's something that's never spoken or addressed. They never apologize. They never come forward. They just always try to mock the situation or look down on it. They know that that's not the case. They know what's up, beloved. Always know that people, no matter who, what, where, why, they know what's up. Okay. I'm being called to end this message here. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This was your message from God. Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. You'll find the link to my Patreon in my description box below, or you can join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Once again, thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. Okay, you guys, I'll praise you to the Most High. Stay prayed up. See you again soon. Goodbye.